Hi, I'm Luna Craft and I will be presenting the Astro Tarot for the coming week. Welcome Sagittarius and as usual I'll start with the astrological ooh, said it, um, aspects, the influences and for you Sagittarius Mercury, all to do with communication, is heading into your sign. And that will lead you to being able to think clearly and be able to make calm, considered decisions. Focus on what works well for you. Um, that is first and foremost. It's pointless you trying to work outside of your comfort zone. Um, looking at your love life, the full okay, the full moon has been and gone, but there is still residual energy swirling around us. It is weakening, but it does still have an effect and what it's doing is encouraging you to form partnerships with people in places you wouldn't normally consider going or consider looking for a potential life partner However, if you are already in an established relationship, I can see both of you together exploring new and exciting places. And that is really good. Really, really good. Okay, moving on to consider the um, tarot side of the Astro Tarot. Your first card is the Nine of Cups. Now, that particular card suggests that you are feeling pretty good about things, especially with your own performance. Um, it shows that everything is coming together as you want it and remember if you can think it you can turn it into reality and that is what's happening this coming week just a final point on that don't forget to offer up gratitude for everything that's good in your life that will enhance any manifestation that takes place now, your middle card, the Eight of Wands. I'm glad you've got a lot of energy. I really am. Because the pace of your life will soon become much faster. It might feel for a while as if you are on a roller coaster, out of control. You're not. Hang in there. Enjoy the ride. You are going places and you will thrive. And your final card is the Emperor. He has very strong energy. He also has a great deal of determination. He sets his sights on an end goal and nothing will get in his way. Nothing will stop him. And that's what I feel will be lent to you. You're likely to be in demand over the next week or so. You can deal with it. You will find the reserves within you. And if you feel you're missing out on available energy, draw it in. Draw it in from 
the skies and what have you. But you enjoy a challenge, Sagittarius, and that is what's being handed to you. And that enjoyment of challenges is what will keep you going. Okay, interesting week ahead. Hi, Capricorn. Lovely of you to to drop by. Um, okay, weekly astro tarot. It's um going to be a full week for you, but one thing I do know for certain about you, Capricorn, is that you love, you enjoy being in control. You have a delightful way about you to persuade people to follow you, to work with you. Venus is the planet of love, also partnership and that type of thing. And her radiance is shining down on you. Um, it For you, it means that you will be feeling much more sociable. And you've got the talent when you're on form to be able to beguile a crowd of people. Keep it up. Um, also, recently, I feel you've been experiencing emotional pressures. Neptune is supporting you in that area. And Neptune is helping you to move on from that difficult period. So don't brush it aside. Go with it. Go with the flow. I know that's one of your sayings anyway. Okay, moving on to the tarot. Your first card is the Queen of Wands. She is showing me that you will display a lot of charm, a lot of enthusiasm. That enthusiasm is catching people feed off that positive energy and they want to join in. Now, once you've got them, you know, following you, they will move heaven and earth to help you to succeed with your goals. Then your middle card is the five of pentacles. It suggests to me that you are not feeling fully connected with your spirituality. It happens. It really does. Life can very often take over, push those priorities onto the back burner. But don't focus on it too much. You may find yourself going inwards and exploring your innermost feelings. But the third and final card for you is the world. And that's why I'm saying it's the disconnection spiritually isn't a major issue because the world is showing that you are in the process of completing a life phase. There's still lots more to come, but it's encouraging you to take stock before going on, before continuing your life journey, and enabling you to set out on that journey with enthusiasm, with energy, with vigor. So well done. Good times are going to be had. All right. Have a wonderful week and welcome Aquarius for weekly astro tarot. And wow, <laughs> I, I'm not laughing at you, I promise. But 
you are really the ideas person of the zodiac. Um, the creative influence given by the moon, and okay, we're past the full moon, but the there is still real energy floating around. Um, that energy is bolstering you, um, encouraging you to create even wilder thoughts. All right, that's why I'm giggling. Um, you can really let your imagination go. Anything is possible, absolutely anything. Um, but hey ho, you don't really mind what others think, so long as you're happy with your thoughts, that is what matters. Um, now, uh, a family situation that's been bubbling for a little while. Um, the suggestion is that. Five people, five names, will come into your field. And somehow your future and theirs are linked. You will share the future in some way. It will become more clear as time progresses. But... Going back to that creativity, get involved in a hands-on hobby, um, whatever that might be, will help you to calm your mind, keep you on an even keel. Now, moving on to the tarot, your first card is the hanged man. <laughs> He's not as scary as he seems. The advice that is given by the hanged man is that you look for um, new perspectives, new ways of viewing things. This could well... Um, relate back to this family issue and it would make sense that if you look at it from a changed perspective you will see alternative actions that could be taken. Now your middle card is the king of swords and he displays himself as a strong, solid character. And the advice being carried by the card is for you to remain firm, um, hold on to your ideas, be prepared to defend those ideas if necessary. Um, ultimately, it will lead to you achieving the emotional freedom that you so rightly deserve. Okay, moving on to your last card. I'm not going to let myself get sad. It's the Four of Cups. Now, what that is all about is a feeling of disillusionment. Something isn't quite right. You maybe don't know what that is at the moment, but again, it will become apparent. It will become clear. And as the influence of the King of Swords takes place with you achieving that emotional freedom, so will the answers to what's not gelling will come out. Okay, so quite a challenging week for you, Aquarius, but none of it is beyond you. 
and sort of the way that your imagination works, you will deal with things appropriately. Okay, I hope you have a really good week. Hi, welcome Pisces. Lovely of you to join me. Weekly Astro Tarot. Okay, oh, let's dive straight into the astrological influences. And your ruling planet, Neptune, is going to set you on a new path that ultimately will end with triumph. And that will be on a personal level. You will have something that you achieve that you want to celebrate. All good stuff. And the other thing that you will find is that although you've maybe gone off track a little bit, you will be able to pull it all back. You will be able to get on track and finally experience success, completion. Now, Mercury is bobbing around. Mercury is all to do with communication, every single part of communication. And Mercury will help you to set realistic priorities. And again, this will help you towards that achievement, that success. On the love front, um, you are probably feeling quite passionate at the moment. Um, fortunately, your partner is on that same page, so no aggravation on that side. Moving on to the tarot cards, and the first card out for you is just superb. It really builds on what the astrology is saying. Your first card is the sun, and that shows that you will be basking in the warmth that the sun gives. Um, it's also saying that you are likely to experience abundance, never a bad thing, also success, and you will find that you are filled with hopeful anticipation. Enjoy this time. It's well deserved. It's overdue. So make the most of it. And as you move through the week, you may feel that life is just becoming too much to handle. And the Eight of Cups shows that you have almost completed, um, almost completed the difficult parts that you've been facing and that your journey ahead will get a lot easier and much, much smoother. And finally, the Nine of Wands. And I'm really not surprised to see this one come out, given what's been going on. It shows that you will spend some time, probably towards the end of the week, looking back and appreciating what you have overcome what you have achieved and by doing that you will find that you are able to see more clearly the direction that you will be heading in so all good stuff really good week lying ahead for you that's it for this week pisces i'll be back next week and i hope you'll be able to join me all that's left for me to say is have a fantastic week and I hope you'll join me next week. Thank you and bye-bye.